Hi, and how's it going, music creators? Evan Groves here, founder of Rompler. I recently received some questions on our Discord. People, you know, interested in Rompler, and they were asking, what are some of the differences between May Sampler and Rompler? So before I get into some of these items, I do honestly believe there is absolutely room in the market for both of these products. Just because I created Rompler does not mean that I want to replace or see Maze get replaced in any kind of way. I truly respect the founder of Maze, Xing. He's done a great job with this product. Uh, and I do believe that both of these products have clear advantages. And both can be very useful to music creatives. I think who wins at the end of the day are you guys, the users of both of these amazing products, because competition does breed innovation. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into some of the clear advantages that Rompler has at this current moment. One area that Rompler really shines is the area of user customization of your assets. So what I mean by that is Rompler has an advanced algorithm that's built into the system where you can just drag any of your assets. It could be any knob, it could be any um, VU meter, a drum pad of any sort, and you can adjust these to any size, any dimension. This is just really, really powerful. Um, you cannot do that in contact, reactor, highs, maze, anything else. This is a rompler thing right here where you can adjust any of your assets to your liking. Another feature that users really love inside of Rompler is the duplicate feature. You can clone any of your assets really easily. Uh, if you go ahead and click on the asset that you want to clone, and then you click on Command D as the shortcut, and you can clone any of your assets. So Command D, just like that. You can do that, or you can right click on any of your assets and choose duplicate as well. As a sample creator, I've always loved the feature inside of Rompler of crossfading. So I could drag in a one shot of any sort, we'll drag that in, adjust the zones, and then you can come down here to where all the sample settings are. And then under loop mode, I usually will click forward, adjust the start and end points of the loop, and then apply the crossfade. And this will allow you to have a continuous loop of your sample. So when you hold down that string sample or that synth lead, it doesn't just cut off abruptly at the end of the sample. It will continue to play continuously. Another awesome feature inside of Rompler is our Spectrum Analyzer. It's fully customizable. Now what this is gonna do is not just the line that you're adding into your plugin. This is gonna be a cool waveform that bounces to the frequency signal of your sample when played inside of your plugin. So how you customize it is really simple. On the right hand side over here, you can adjust the background color. What I like to do is make it alpha so that it blends into the background. And then the frequency color, this is gonna be the color of your waveform. So you can adjust it to any color you choose and it'll look something like this. Another new feature that users are really loving about Rompler is our brand new preset manager. This was introduced in version 1.4. Um, so you can now add a brand new instrument preset really easily. Uh, let's see for this one, let's add lead, um, bad. Let's go add preset and just like that. Now we have two presets in here. We can click under add preset again. And let's see, let's name this one pad killer add a preset and you can just drag in your samples onto any of these presets and it will host all of your samples and you have all of your presets now organized you can move them up or down in your preset manager just really efficiently to manage all of your preset instruments now one area that I think makes Rompler really stand out from anything out there, uh, I think it honestly makes it from good to something really truly special, is that we have a UI shop. So what that means is that you can come, if you're a user of Rompler, you can go ahead and purchase knobs, you could purchase faders, you could purchase templates for any of your plugins and build off of. Say you're you know, building your very first plugin, you don't know where to start. You could purchase one of our themes, just like you would if you're building a website and you, you're using Shopify or WordPress, you can come 
purchase one of our themes on our website and you can fully customize the nameplate. You can change out any of the knobs. Maybe you want these to have black knobs or maybe you want it to have purple knobs or you want to change out the whole entire background. Maybe you want to remove this lady or remove the maps in the background. You want it to have a low rider car, whatever you choose. These just give you a great starting point to build your plugin off of. And what's also really cool is if you are a designer, you can go ahead and contribute to this community. You can contribute to building knobs and faders um, and go ahead and start selling and making additional revenue streams from your talents. Now, a feature that really makes Rompler stand out is we offer on our website for free, guys, a GUI designer. So this is a software that we have on our website. You can click under the canvas. This is like an alternative to your Photoshop. So for those out there that don't have Photoshop or they don't wanna pay for it, you can use our free uh, designer to help you create your own background for your Rompler plugin. And then we offer as well free asset packs when you purchase. So you can load up, say, background, we'll choose upload yours, choose file, and you can go in here and choose any file. These are some of the free backgrounds that we offer. And then you can go into effects. Maybe you want to change the effects of this, changing different filters. That looks pretty good. We could also add text. So let's say the name of your plugin, we'll name it Bass. That looks good, just like that. And then you can also add effects and shadows to your, um, to your text, or you can choose different fonts. If you choose, just like that, that looks pretty good. Uh, what's also something cool is you can also add in shape. So I usually do this for my knobs. So I'll put in some placeholders that I'll use for my knobs. Just like that, I'm just copy and paste in different knobs. And, and when I load it into Rompler, I'll actually put a real knob in the place of these. You could just create different placeholders. Maybe you wanna add another shape down here. We'll put a rectangle and this is where our keyboard will go. We'll put our keys, the MIDI keyboard inside of Rompler will go here. Maybe we'll have reverb here, we'll have delay here, stuff like this. So you're just designing, you're thinking about it in this free software inside of Rompler. So then what you could do is we have a 3D mode where you can see what your plugin will look like in 3D. I'll click off of that cube. There's also snap to grid. So maybe you want all of your, you can align all of your assets properly on your plugin, just like this. So there's a lot of possibilities, guys, that you could do. And then at any time, you could just click download and it's gonna print out an image and then you can load that image background right into Rompler. Now what I probably love the absolute most about what we're building with Rompler is that we built a community first. Before we launched the software, we launched this Discord, and here you can talk directly with the decision makers of the software. You could talk to me, the founder of Rompler. I'm right here under Rompler CEO. You can send me a DM, talk to me directly. You can't do that with any other company, any other software that's in our space that's even close to what we're doing. Um, we have people on here that's making amazing knobs and they're sharing their drum pads and designs with you guys. This is community you know driven uh, from the jump so I'm super excited where we're at imagine where what Rompler looks like at the one-year mark we're at four months only in and we're already getting compared to you know maze that's been out for 12 years contact that's been out for 20 years highs that's been out for five or six years we're only four months in the game guys so please come join this movement. We're super excited to have you. If you have a question about Rompler, come jump on this Discord right now, and I'm sure somebody is gonna come help answer any of your kind of questions to the best of their ability. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned something about Rompler, and um, I really do look forward to having you a part of this community. Thank you.